I want you to turn to the person sitting next to you. Have a good look at them. Really take them in. Now, I've got some bad news for you, because the odds are that one of you is going to be diagnosed with cancer by your 85th birthday. There is one new cancer diagnosis every three to four minutes in Australia, which means that by the time I'm finished this short presentation, another person is going to be diagnosed with this life-changing and life-threatening disease. <laughs> Sorry, that reaction was extreme. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so essentially, um, the diagnosis rates within cancer show no sign of declining. However, overall cancer survival is actually improved. Now, this may be the result of more advanced and effective treatment options, including chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Now, while these treatment options are shown to be effective, they still do have some significant side effects, including severe nausea and or vomiting, hair loss and fatigue. Now, the toxic nature of these treatments and their side effects is well documented. However, as people live longer, due to these more advanced, but also more expensive treatment options, a new side effect relating to a cancer diagnosis is arising. Now, this side effect can be referred to as financial toxicity and relates to the financial hardship that's associated with a cancer diagnosis. Now, financial toxicity can contribute to poor quality of life as well as reduced access to medical services with approximately 20% of all cancer patients indicating they did not seek their necessary treatment simply because of the cost. Now, this suggests that we should be paying attention to the financial aspects that are associated with a cancer diagnosis. So the aim of our research was to quantify the cost to cancer patients in the first three years following their diagnosis. Now, this data set utilizes, uh, sorry, this, start, this research utilizes the data set of over 25,000 cancer patients that were diagnosed in Queensland in 2011 and 2012. Now, this data set also contains every contact these patients had with any hospital or emergency department service, as well as every relevant record from their Medicare benefit schedule and pharmaceutical benefit scheme. Now, what we found is that in the first three years following diagnosis, cancer patients had to fork out a combined total of over $125 million from out of their own pocket for their treatment. So if you were diagnosed with cancer, you'd be looking at spending anywhere between one and $32,000 in the very first month following your diagnosis. So these costs occurs immediately. So as well as having to deal with the terrible news of just being diagnosed with cancer, you need to pull together your finances as quickly as possible in order to pay for your treatment. So we also found that after this immediate financial shock, cancer patients had to spend approximately $600 per month for their treatment. Now this research has highlighted the massive cost that's associated with a cancer diagnosis and suggests that we don't just need to be taking into account the significant physical, emotional and psychological harms that are associated with a cancer diagnosis, but the financial ones as well. After all, the financial costs that are associated with a cancer diagnosis may end up being just as toxic as the very drugs that are used to treat this deadly disease.